Today we can see how to install the SNIC CLI tool and how we can execute the task using the SNIC. So that aspect we can discuss today. We can download the tool now. You can go to Google and search SNIC download. You can click, you can click install or update the SNIC CLI. You can go to the Windows package. Currently I have Windows system. So I am downloading the, once you download, you can go to this path. I'm running command prompt for this path. You can see the SNIC tool is available in the command prompt, which is downloaded from the internet. You can run the SNIC CLI tool. Suppose if you execute this exe, you can see the CLI options. SNIC have the CLI options, authentication, to get authentication for this CLI, SNIC test, you can test, you can test the source code using this option. Suppose if your source code are C or C++ based, you can use iPhone iPhone manage. This is SNIC monitor, snapshot or continuously monitor a project for open source vulnerabilities and license. Okay, SNIC container, test container images or vulnerabilities. SNIC ISC, ISC nothing but infrastructure as a code. SNIC code, using these options, you, we can execute the static code analysis. So today we can focus in this functionality and we can execute how to, and we can understand how to execute this as code scan analysis using the SNIC tool. Okay, so before starting the tool, we need to get authentication for the SNIC tool. So you can give authentication. For that, you need to log in in the GitHub account. Okay, once your login is success with GitLab, you can give authenticate. SNIC CLI ready to use now and it is authenticated with the SNIC server. Now we can start to execute our task scan using SNIC CLI. We can go to command prompt now, exe name, then code, test, dv, wa, folder name or source code path. You can give and you can enter. It will scan and give the results. It may take few minutes or few seconds. Okay. Now you can see the list of security issues are identified by this tool and it is displayed in the report. Okay. Suppose if you want save this report as a file, you can give the file name and we can save the report also. Now you can see the report. And you can see the summary of the report. 60 high issues, 78 medium issues, and 10 low issues are identified by this tool. Now you can open now you can open the report and you can see the details, which finding details. Okay, the high criticality issues are available here. This is the path of the source code and the line of the source code and this is the finding details. Like the finding is server side request forgery, unsanitized input from an HTTP parameter flows into the file get contents where it is used as an URL to perform the request. This may result server side request forgery vulnerability. So each findings, they have the source code path and the line of the source code. Based on that, we can analyze and fix and fix it further. This is what we need to execute the SAS scan using the SNIC tool. This approach we can follow to execute the SAS using SNIC tool and we can identify our source code vulnerabilities. Okay, the SNIC 
tool have different types of download one is free team business enterprise free version tool have limited scan per month and under the license category have unlimited scans you can see more details in the portal and you can choose package you want to use based on your requirement okay i have done this session suppose if you have any clarifications you can post in the comment section